Welcome back, everybody. Welcome if you are new. Today we're in the UMPs here at Kern County, or should I say Kevin Harvick's Kern County. First time I've raced it with the uh, name change, so that's interesting. Ran an okay time here in practice. We do have a new paint scheme, which I'll show you after the qualifying laps. I like it. It's like mainly white, and uh, we got our own custom number on it now and stuff. I like the way it looks. It looks really good to me. But we'll see what we can do. Haven't raced this track super much since it came out still, like last season. That was not the best first lap by any means. Let's see if we can get a little bit better of a second lap. 14. Yeah, 14-1. I was able to hit like 13-8s, 13-9s like consistently there at the end of practice. Track changed slightly from practice to qualifying there. Hopefully a second lap was faster. No, it was slower, damn. But it seems like everybody slowed up a little bit, so that's nice. So far we're second, that's good. Everybody's times are right on top of each other. But you can see we got our new paint scheme. Mainly white, got the uh, uh, lightning stripe on the side of it and stuff. I like the way it looks a lot. And then uh, we got our custom number to four, but it has like the armed and gaming on, on both sides of it. So it's the YouTube name, obviously. And then we got the number four. I like the way it looks. Uh, I always like the lightning scheme, though. It makes it like unpredictable looking and just different and random, but... So far, we are third. We fell back to third so far, which is all right. Uh, I think everybody's making it into the feature. Either that or one person might be going home because 12 and 12, uh, 6 and 6 would make 12. I think it'd take four. I think 16. So I think one person's going home in a consolation race, which is unfortunate. So we'll see where we end up and uh, we'll see how we do in these heat races. We fell back to fourth so far. We'll just hit a great time. Tenth faster than anybody else so far. All right, heat number one's getting ready to roll off. We stayed fourth. Uh, we got Noah starting straight behind us in our heat, so that's interesting. We'll see how Isaac does starting in the same spot we will be. So I'm interested to see that. I always like watching the person that's in like the same position if I'm in the, the second heat and stuff like that. So we'll see what goes on. I think the track will get a little slicker off and the top will come up a little bit better. I don't know what's going on with all the guys back there. Something weird's happening. So that's already a good sign for the start of this race. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Because uh, there's nine in this one, eight in our heat, and I think one person's going to be going home in the Constellation, which is crazy. But uh, we'll see what goes on here. Hopefully it's a pretty clean race. Pace car goes off there in turn one, so you got to be careful about that because somebody could just start going. But you got to not pass anybody to not get a black flag. By the time you come around to the start finish line, second place Isaac here. Starting in front of leader, trying to get a jump, does not. Fourth place got a solid jump, but hits the guy on the bottom. He didn't give him room to run his own line off the start. He tried to jump down in third place immediately. But I do think this outer lane, maybe not that high, but the outer lane might come into play later in this race. Like, I think it's going to get slicked off enough to where starting on the outside will be all right for us. Somebody's out in the wall over there. Turn one and two. Top six in each heat are gonna make it straight to the feature. And I do think one is going home. I could be wrong, it could be 18, but I think it's 16 with the way it shows like six are making it for both uh, of them. Because it usually takes four from the constellation. But he's able to hold his own there. Where is the, cons uh, the transfer spot? It looks like it's right here, the 20 car. We'll see if they can hold on to it. I think they were the one in the wall, and he started fourth as well. Fell back. Smacking the wall and all that. Nobody's really battling that hard. This uh, 36 is trying to make the groove on the bottom work. 316, sorry. I just saw the three and the six for a second. Trying to watch the front guys see what kind of lines they're running a little bit. It's kind of They're just kind of running a little bit like middle right now. Not running too high. I'll probably run like a slider in one and two because that seems like the best to me, but I'm not super consistent at this track yet because I haven't ran it enough to uh, be able to hit the same line over and over again. But nobody's really challenging for this uh, final transfer spot with the 20 car. Seven car got really high there in turn one, brought him back up to this fight. Coming up to the white flag though, it's a pretty tame. Uh, Heat race for the most part, which is good. I'm happy to see that. Hopefully it could stay that way. But everybody's gonna end up making it just fine, it looks like. 
top three stayed the same. Oh, they're battling in the final corner. They're three wide here for fourth, fifth, and sixth. Yikes. And they all stay in the same spot and probably all get a 2x too. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, 316. I saw that. But uh, that was a solid race there by everybody. But we'll see what we can do here in our heat starting in second. All right, we're getting ready to roll off here in our heat. Hopefully it goes as smooth as heat number one did. It was pretty clean for the most part. So hopefully our heat can be pretty clean as well. I think there's a couple guys towards the back that were just a little slow in their heat, and that was about it. But these corners are interesting. Turn one is like a lot wider than three and four, it seems like. Like the entry in is kind of skinny, and then it widens out a lot on entry to the corner. It's kind of like weed sport in a way, like turn one, but not as drastic because there's not like an inside wall. But if you if you get your car on that berm down there, it's gonna really mess you up. So you gotta try not to do that. But I'm just not consistent enough at this track yet to hit solid times over and over. So hopefully we don't screw up too bad here in this race. Try to stay in second at least here. Where we qualified at. We got the car number three, Caleb, starting us out. He's getting ready to go. We had a solid start. I'll take that. Didn't get anybody on our inside there. And it looked like third and fourth went flying up the track behind me. Whoever was in fifth just like went by all of them on the bottom, which is hilarious. So it looks like it's just me and Caleb out here towards the front. Oh, he got tight. Try to stick bottom here. Try not to slide up in front of him so we don't wreck. There's no reason for that. The car really wants to like rotate and flip over almost on the left rear. Like if you get into these corners weird, you get on the brakes too hard, the left rear wants to lift up. It's crazy. Try not to get into him. I wish we would have taken a little bit more advantage of uh, him messing up though. If I would have uh, slid up in front of him, I could have probably held it, but at the same time, I didn't want to get bumped from behind and us go wrecking for no reason. Would have rather just stayed bottom, see if we could make it work for another corner or so, and then uh, try to stay in the lead that way. Because this is only the heat race anyways. We don't need to force ourselves to go to the consolation or anything. Oh, we got tight there. I think that's the same exact thing that happened to him on like that second lap. Because there's like a weird dip down going into turn one, and if like you just let off or straighten the car out at the wrong time, it just pushes on you. That's why I try to do like a big slider like that. It feels like the most comfortable to me. In one and two at least. Three and four you can kind of throw a slider line as well. But I just don't know what the fastest lines are here. But yeah, Caleb is pulling away from us now. We are keeping up with him right off the start. But he definitely was the, the faster car here. Right now. Kind of happy that we're starting on the outside lane for the consolation. Or not the consolation, the, the feature race. Being uh, heat number two, that seems like a good thing because this track is starting to widen out, which is really good for us being on the outside. I'm very happy about that. Might be able to make some passes early. Noah finished right behind us. Never mind. He was he did start third and uh, got by those guys off the start. Because uh, what happened off the start of that, uh, going into turn one, I want to see. Because I thought uh, both these guys just went straight up the track, but it was nine cars sending in. I saw in the mirror. Noah just hooked straight on the bottom and uh, stayed in front of him, which was a good job by him to white car that was in fourth flying backwards the 11 car there but we finished second i'm happy about that I, I do want to see what happened here i think he just straightened out and yeah it just got tied on him like it did with us later but uh, luckily we didn't make any contact and i think yeah literally one person is going home and there's multiple people that aren't even here so the three guys are actually racing in it will uh make it just fine so i'll see you guys for the features all right pace car is getting ready to roll off here we're starting here in fourth we got noah behind us still Hopefully we can have a good run. Uh, the Constellation race was ridiculous. There was only three guys there, and they all three wrecked together multiple times. Like, it was hilarious. I, I think one of the cars literally ramped off another one in the corner. I don't know how. There was only three of them. It made no sense. <laughs> it was uh, absolute mayhem. I wonder how many... I think they at least got, like, four to six Xs in that Constellation race alone, which is ridiculous. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. But hopefully we can have a good run here. Try to stay top five-ish. We're car number four, so if we can stay top five, I'll be happy with that. 
30 laps here. I about said 40 because I'm used to like the supers and stuff, which the the fixed supers are 40 laps now, and the open supers are now 50. So that would be interesting with uh, 10 extra laps in the open supers. I'm I'm interested with that, and I'm excited to run that this season. I like longer races, but we're getting ready to go green. This guy has well brought down, us well to down, a well damn well crawl. Like, holy cr Oh, God. My car was getting sideways, and we got rear-ended, but that's fine. The 2X isn't going to bother me. They really wanted to kick loose on the straightaway, though. That was weird. I don't know why. I just could not keep the thing straight, so I just let off to not hook uh, the guy on our inside. See what we could do, just trying to hold this outside lane. Man, it's so loose off of turn four. Weird. Oh, got too sideways there, using too much throttle. Really don't need to use too much throttle at this track, it seems like, because it is kind of a smaller place. Trying to reduce wheel spin the best of my ability. Trying to slide up to this grip up here to get more speed for the exit. Don't want to clip that opening for the pit wall. That would be very bad. Yeah, I nearly hooked uh, the six car here in front of us, Isaac, off the start there. That 100% was all my fault. I don't think I was getting lifted up or anything from behind. I think I was just getting on throttle and it was just wheel spinning bad. But we're holding fine in fourth. I'm happy with that. Car four. Sounds like there might be a caution, potentially. Guy behind us is flying on entry of these corners. I'm like more conservative on entry, trying to get a better exit. I haven't really seen sliders thrown here much before because I haven't raced here much either. But it'll be interesting to see if uh, the guy behind us pulls it off on us. I don't see it happening in the turn one as much just because we kind of run a slider line anyways. Three and four would be the uh, place to do it for sure. But you definitely got to be careful with that berm on the bottom. I'm trying to stay somewhat high for turn one anyways. So we don't have to go through much of that slickness. I think he got the wall behind us in turn one and two. That helped us a little bit. He's going way low in the turn, turn one in front of us now. Oh yeah, he got the wall again, one and two. He's pushing it very hard. Trying to keep the car straight. Not get too sideways here. Oh, we got tight, we got tight. That was awful. That was like what happened to us in the heat race. But it was it's much worse because we were closer to the wall up there. Too much throttle. But I think, uh, who is it, Riley behind us uh, did the same exact thing in turn one. Either he got on the brakes to miss us and he got tight from that, or it just happened to him at the same time, which was lucky for us. Because I thought for sure he was getting around us right there. We do have a pretty good gap behind Riley, like a second back to the next people, which is good. Leader to 14.6. So yeah, they're running like a tenth or two faster than us per lap right now. This slicked off track. Yeah, I can only run like an eight right now. Leader is flying, and there's a caution. Leader in the outside, or lap car in the outside wall. That brings out a caution. I think he's stuck a lap down, yeah, because it's getting all of us to pass him now, so I think he's stuck a lap down. I wonder if his right front is broken. Yeah, he's trying to turn it into the pits, so. Caution number one, 14 laps in, nearly halfway, so we'll get going here in a second. One, two, go. And I think the top five of us are all starting in the same exact spot as we were originally. Leader's, like, bringing us around fast, and then he's going to come down to a standstill again. Like, he is crawling again. I feel like that's trying to get people to stack up behind them. But here we go again. Hopefully we can have a good start. Solid start. I'll take it. Try to get the car to rotate. It did not want to, but we were able to once we got mid corner. Leader got that pit wall. That was sketchy. Let out of gas, dude. Isaac is making that bottom work right now, man. That's crazy. Would not expect that with how slicked off this track is. I definitely didn't expect the bottom to come in.
They're racing hard right now. They're trying to make that lower line work. Oh, there's a lot of grip off of turn two. Okay. It's good to know. Riley's on the inside of us now. Inside, inside. Clear, clear. 14.952. Yeah, you just got to go slow right there in one and two to uh, get that bottom to work, it looks like. Slow one's on top. Slow one's on top. Oh, there's somebody backwards in one and two. That might bring out a caution, but he actually got off the track. 14.932. Oh, yeah, that one and two is nice down there. We're going to try to run bottom oh, now, see if we can make it work. At least in one and two. Three and four, I think I need to move up to center. But one and two is real nice there on the bottom. Three and four, I think I need to run a little higher. Try to keep more momentum off the corner. The lap car is going to be interesting up here. See where he ends up going. He seems to be running okay, like, laps, though. Getting way too sideways in the turn three there. Leader's trying to run a slider line, but the lap car is there. Oh, he got the wall on the outside, it looks like. That'd put us up in the third if we could pass him. But we had a good three and four there. We have him at the line. Should have him off turn two again. Oh, no, he kept it really good up there. Oh, this lap car is sketchy. He was slowing down a ton on the back stretch. I was not ready for that. Damn, bro, I'll let you go and you kill him. I don't know if that guy realized that we were three wide there. I'm sorry. Or maybe that's somebody else. I don't know. Damn, y'all check. Fuck. He sounds like he's having a rough time. Wasn't trying to add insult and injury. came out of four little loose. Because he was backwards on the track at one point. I'm shocked there wasn't a caution for that, but there was nobody like coming by at the time. We had third there for one lap, almost two, I think. Front of you on the top. That sounds like another wrecked car. He might have towed to the pits. Nope, he's stopping on the top. That's going to be a caution. Yep, he didn't tow in time. That's unfortunate. We're going to have like a five lap, four lap shootout here. We're going to restart single file here in fourth. One to go. All right, coming around the one to go here. Got to watch out for this leader, like, just checking up bad. Yeah, because, uh, he's a little sketchy. Stupid, uh, but to the green, you're Sounds like somebody back there well. is blinking a Good little bit. Start. You really are, man. But we're coming up to turn three. Everybody's, like, going and again, checking up. We had a decent start, though. Try not to get in the green, back, Kalo. He apologized under the caution for the lap car. Like, us going three wide and us making some contact. But well, that wasn't, like, his fault or anything. We were good. Let's see if we can try to hold on the fourth here, or potentially get third. 15.2, He has so much of a run on that outside lane. Okay, I think I might need to move up, back up. I don't know. Either that or I need to figure out this bottom a little bit better. Couple more laps. Only a couple more laps, three, though. Six, five. Trying to just hold it straight, not get too sideways through these corners. It is so slicked off. White flag. Uh, Riley got us there. Nice run by him. Way to get fourth out of him. He was flying on that outside. That was awesome. It would make a couple different well. lanes work. Good race, though. Good race, and Will got that win. He was up front the entire race, and we kept it clean right. up front. That was a lot of fun. Solid, solid run by everybody, and uh, we'll go and see what the incidents were here. Uh, let's go to the beginning of the feature race, because there were a handful. I know right off the start, I got sideways getting on throttle here. Like It just kicked out on me. I had to check up, and then Riley got in the back of us. No harm, no foul, really. We got a 2X, unfortunately. These cars are just a little fragile with the Xs. 14 going to smack the wall on the front stretch. 10 car getting into it. Uh, that's Noah in turn one there. 316 and him getting together a little bit. 316 like went wide in and then cut down, which was a little odd. Seven car wall on the front stretch. Just barely, barely kissing it. Noah's just, it's tight up there. Oh, and he got tight there. Oh, he might have messed up his steering a little bit. It looked like that front right got pushed in. 
That's what I was trying not to do because it's so easy to. Ooh, the seven car got that outside wall. That was scary. He was going head on into that wall. Riley behind us. He got the wall a handful of times I saw in the mirror. The 11 going straight, hitting the wall a little. It just got tight on him. That happened to us a couple times. Riley getting the wall again behind us. The 69 car, nice. Getting the wall in three and four. That's not nice. Oh, he destroyed the wall. I think he was the uh, the lap car later on that might have ended up turned around. I thought it was the 20, but I guess it was a 69. I couldn't see the number very well. We didn't, like, fight him too hard, so I wasn't, like, that near him to see what his number was. Nine car getting that wall, and that's what would happen to you. He broke his right front right there. He cannot turn anymore, and that was the first caution because uh, he had to come to a stop and uh, could not turn. 13, getting up into the 11. Somehow it didn't affect the 11, but affected the 13 a lot more. These guys are still hitting back here. 316, running the outside, going. Oh, just got the door shut on him last second. That was unfortunate. He thought he was going to have the lane to keep going. I would have too. That's a tough situation. And that's where he ended up backwards in turn one and two, and he was turning around here with all the leaders coming. But no caution came out for that because it was at the back of the field, and no cars were, like, near enough for it, I guess. 13 car getting the wall a little bit. I think he hit the wall here Ooh, pretty hard with the rear end, but the front end didn't come around for him, so he's lucky that uh, that didn't happen because I think that would have destroyed his steering potentially. 316 sent it in. He was doing a little bit of a cut down. They just hit a little bit, but nothing really messed each other up too badly. Caleb blinked a little, and then that was the uh, lapper that brought out the caution. And I think that was right after we went by him, because he, like, slowed up a ton here. And then, oh, no, it wasn't this corner. Oh, he got a uh, hit up into him. Oh, interesting. And then I think it was, like, where was it, actually? I thought, uh, where did we get? Oh, where did we get super close to that lapper? I'm so confused. I th oh, it was right there. Okay. Because, like, he slowed up a bunch, and he cut down. We made a little bit of contact, but it was net code, I guess. But I didn't even know he got up into him. I honestly didn't even see that at all when we were side by side. Because I was just battling with him and trying to focus on that. Then I think this is going to be the caution. Yeah, oh, he nailed the wall. He definitely cannot turn anymore. That right front is uh, straight now. That's unfortunate. People making contact under caution, I guess. He was ripping the top, man. Riley here was ripping the top at the end, making it work. I was trying to make that bottom work. I was more in one and two. Three and four wasn't working as well on the bottom the last couple laps because the, uh, the outside just kept getting the run. Caleb hitting the wall a little bit and checkered flag. So solid, solid race. I'm happy with that. Everybody starts nailing the brakes after the finish start finish line, which makes no sense. But we finish up in fifth. I'll take that. It was a solid race by us and uh, everybody up front. It was a lot of fun. We could have potentially got up to third at one point, but then uh, Caleb was able to hold that outside on us and Riley got us there at the line. So good racing. We finished fifth. I'll take that for the first dirt race of the new season. And results are in. Strength of field was just over 25, just under 26. Uh, we gained seven out of it. I'll take it. We could have probably gained a little bit more if we finished uh, fourth, but Riley might have lost some if he finished fifth, so good on him. We, we gained the same amount. That's nice, which is funny. Noah also finished with plus seven. That's funny. How many people got plus seven? I guess that's it. He got plus eight. Keith did back there, so that's funny. But uh, we're trying to get to, get to 5K finally this season. We were up to like 4,800 at one point, and we just started free fall and having some rough races. But we're going to be running the fixed supers and the open supers this season. I'm going to try to get better at the super lay models with uh, Gavin. And we're going to run them and see if we can get better at them because uh, we are struggling a little bit with that, the real fast guys. So running both of them, hopefully it will help us uh, understand the car a little bit better and we can run better. So... Uh, we'll see if we can try to hit 5k this season. I really hope so because I feel like we have the speed for it We just get stuck in some uh, bad spots sometimes because I either qualify bad or I make a bad move in a race So definitely need to get better at that and I'm more aware of everything So hopefully you guys enjoyed the race nonetheless. It was a ton of fun uh, Probably best race I've had at Curran so far because I haven't raced it too much And uh, that was a ton of fun making two lines work there at the end because uh, Isaac started running that bottom showing that it had speed so I started running that and then Riley started running that outside there right towards the end and it worked out so great racing hopefully you guys enjoyed appreciate you guys for watching as always and I'll catch you guys in the next one